In this video, I will explain how to distinguish tuberculous meningitis from bacterial meningitis based on their clinical presentation. Tuberculous versus bacterial meningitis. Patients with tuberculous meningitis or bacterial meningitis typically present with similar symptoms, including a stiff neck, headache, fever, and vomiting. So, how should we tell them apart? Here are three things to keep in mind. First, explore the patient's history in depth. Subacute presentation is typical with tuberculous meningitis. In a study of 160 patients with tuberculous meningitis, the duration between onset of symptoms and clinical presentation was less than one week in 7% of cases, one to three weeks in 57%, and more than three weeks in 36%. Bacterial meningitis, on the other hand, usually shows up within a week of symptoms. Second, patients with tuberculous meningitis often have impaired consciousness. There were 160 patients with tuberculous meningitis in the previous study, and of those, 59% reported changes in consciousness, 28% had personality changes, and 21% were in a coma. Bacterial meningitis rarely causes symptoms like this. And lastly, patients with tuberculous meningitis frequently suffer from impairments in their cranial nerves, the most prevalent of which affect cranial nerves 2 and 6. Around one-third of patients with tuberculous meningitis had cranial nerve palsies. Although uncommon, cranial nerve palsies are possible in cases of bacterial meningitis resulting from a brain abscess. There you go. Let's sum things up. I really hope you like it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button at the bottom of the page before you go. To see more of our videos, click here.